Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Evidently, Israel uh, started its offensive on Hamas, and uh, they did certain things that I think uh, they would be called uh, genocide if the Russians would have done it, and partly they did it to the Ukrainians, which is the Russians, if you remember, they destroyed some uh, energy infrastructure, therefore leaving Ukrainians without um, electricity, power. Well, <clears throat> it seems like Israel does something more than that. Uh, all right, but that's for a different uh, video. What we have in this video, I have two elite commanders, Israeli commanders, killed by Hamas. Now, if you have commanders killed, uh, that means that things are really, really... Uh, serious over there. Not that, they, not that they were not so far, but if you have commanders killed, that means, um, you know, it's not only the regular troops over there. So I have two articles here, one from the Telegraph and the other one is from the from Business Insider. I will start with the Telegraph one, uh, which I found first, and then I went to the second one that tells us about the both of them. So this has to do only with one commander, and uh, as I said, Telegraph from October 8. Israel's elite ghost commander killed by Hamas, Colonel Roy Levy, or Levi, 44, is among dozens of soldiers confirmed dead. So we have uh, elite ghost commander. Well, and these guys want something from me and I will not give them. I'm going to jump to the second article. Ready? From Business Insider. October 8, 2023. Two of Israel's elite commanders and many officers have been killed in the Hamas war launch from Gaza, says the Israel Defense Forces. So this is another one. This is the Jonathan or Jonathan <coughs> Steinberg. Commander of Israel Nahal Brigade, Israel Defense Forces. So this is one, and this is the second one. Handsome guys. Colonel Jonathan Steinberg, commander of Israel's Nahal Brigade, was killed fighting Hamas, the IDF said. Colonel Roy Levi Levy, head of the elite multi-dimensional unit known as the ghost unit was also killed. Hamas launched an unprecedented attack on, on Israel by land, sea and air on Saturday. An Israeli commander was among dozens of soldiers killed in fighting with Hamas military, militants. So these guys call Hamas militants. Remember, this is Business Insider. Interesting. So, um, the commander, I'm calling the commander of Nahal Brigade, Col Colonel Jonathan Steinberg, was killed during today during a confrontation with a terrorist. The Israel Defense Forces, I, it's all in quotation mark, uh, the Israel Defense Forces IDF said in a post on X, Steinberg, 42, was killed during a, an, an exchange of fire near Karem Shalom in southern Israel on the border with Gaza. The 933rd Natal, Nahal Brigade is one of the IDF's main infantry brigades. The IDF released the names of 44 soldiers killed in the fighting, of which Steinberg was among the most senior. 21 other military officers were named so far. Supposedly, not supposed, supposedly, reportedly, um, Israel lost about 700 people killed. Now I don't know how many military because uh, they didn't say they say they um, 700 Israeli killed and then uh, the Ukrainian or Ukrainian it was uh, Ukrainska Pravda reported 800 killed. So they didn't say how many uh, Palestinians were just so you know. I'm pretty sure you find it but Steinberger was one of the most senior Israeli officers killed in combat in re recent memory, the Times of Israel said. The Israel Defense for, uh, Forces also said that Colonel Roy Levy, the head of the elite multidimensional unit, also known as the Ghost Unit, was killed on Saturday per Times of Israel. 
Levi or Levi died in fighting in a southern community of Reim as he battled Hamas fighters and 10 of them were killed in the exchange. And this is Emmanuel Manny Fabian. Fabian. This is what they posted. Uh, this is the same picture with the previous one. What oh God, he's got. Hamas bombarded Israel, reported the toll right here. Reported death toll figures are conflicting and constantly rising. Over 500 Israelis are reported to have been killed, the BBC said, citing Israeli media. Palestinian officials said at least 313 people have been killed in Gaza. You see how it's different here? So, uh, yeah. So these guys were... Uh, 500 here, but I found the 800, as I said, in the uh, Ukraine's Pravda, I think, and, and the 700 in many others. And they say that at least 313 people have been killed in Gaza. So these guys are Israelis, and the other ones are what? People? Palestinians? Hamas? Fighters? Whatever. So, anyway, the point is here, you got these two uh, uh, commanders, colonels, uh, eliminated by the um, by Hamas, that tells me that uh, the shit hits the um, fan, and um, Israelis are going to obliterate obliterate. Um, unfortunately, not only Hamas but Gaza. Well, the, um, I will cover that in the in the next video. What Israel did to Gaza, I I don't know. I don't know because. <laughs> That is on the population. Uh, it's not on on Hamas. So the retaliatory move um, tells you how much liberty and freedom these guys had over there. If you can do this kind of thing to the whole enclave, that's how they call it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.